guys, I'm Caitlin Dunphy, a physiotherapist at InSync Physio in Burnaby Heights. I've recently gotten really into mountain biking, both downhill and trail riding. A great place if you want to learn to get into either is at Burnaby Mountain. They have awesome trails for beginners. After mountain biking or riding in general, a great thing to work on is your hip flexors. So stretching out your hip flexors because they've been in this bent position for the whole ride. Another thing I like to work on is back extensions. Because you're in this forward position all day, it's good to do things like cobra. You can do back extensions over a foam roller to try and extend your back because you've been forward for the whole time. If you have any real injuries after biking, it's a good idea to get a physiotherapist to check them out. So come on by to InSync in Burnaby Heights. One of my favorite stretches for hip flexors is the runner's lunge stretch. So one of the biggest mistakes I see with this stretch is that people just lunge forward have their knee over the front foot and they're really just arching through their back. So one of the most important things to do when you start this is to actually tip your pelvis back a little bit. And you can see that opens up the front of my hip and then you actually don't have to lean very far forward to get that stretching sensation. Have your foot far enough forward that when you do press that hip forward, it doesn't, your knee doesn't go over your toe. But the important thing is just opening up the front of that hip. And so you wanna hold this for 30 seconds and you can repeat it three to four times. One of my favorite exercises for getting your upper back open is back extensions over the foam roller or reverse crunches over the foam roller. So you wanna lie on the foam roller around where your bra strap or a heart rate monitor would hit. Knees bent. You wanna keep your chin tucked a little bit. You can support your head lightly. You don't want it crammed forward or extended back, so just a slight chin tuck, and you're just gonna extend your upper back over the foam roller and come back up. You want it just to be an upper back extension, so stop when it feels like the low back ex is extending or your hips are coming off the ground. So a couple of things to think about are having your hips solid on the ground, not letting your ribs pop up, because when they pop up, it's usually your low back extending. And so just going as far back as your upper back will take you and coming back up. I like to do around three sets of this, 10 repetitions. So I do it 10 times, take a little break and repeat that two more times.